12 volt 36 watt amp is lit to normal brightness using a 12 volt car battery of negligible internal resistance. The lamp is switched on for one hour. For the time of one hour, calculate the energy supplied by the battery. Okay, so power is equal to work done over time. So power times by time is going to equal to the work done or the energy supplied by the battery. So that's 36 multiplied by the time, which is 3,600. That's going to give us an answer of 129,600 uh, 129, joules. The charge passing through the lamp. So Q equals IT and P equals IV. So to find the current, uh, we're going to do P over V. So that is 36 divided by 12, which is 3. So that's our current. Then current times by time. So 3 times 3,600. So let me just do that in the calculator. Uh, 3 times by 3,600, get 10,800, and the unit is coulombs for charge. The diagram below shows an electrical circuit. The battery has negligible internal resistance. Show that the current is 25 milliamps here. So we want to find out this current here. Okay, so we've got 8 volts. Now these two resistors are in series, so the total resistance between, uh, well the total resistance in this little part here is going to be 320. So V equals IR, V over R equals I. So 8 divided by 320, this is going to give us our current. 8 divided by 320, that is equal to 0 0.025 amps, which is the same as 25 milliamps. The current in a lightning strike is 7,800 amps. The strike lasts for a time of 230 milliseconds, so we need to do a little conversion there. Calculate the charge flowing between the cloud and the, the ground. So Q equals I T. So we've got 7,800 times by uh, 230 over 1,000 to convert it into seconds. So how much charge flowed? Uh, 7,800 times 230 divided by 1,000 and we get 1,794 coulombs. The number of electrons transferred to the ground. Well, each electron has got a charge of 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19. So if we do 1794 divided by the charge of an electron, it's going to tell us how many electrons we need. And I get an answer of uh, one point, uh, sorry, one point one two times ten to the twenty two electrons. Okay. A small radio receiver uses a battery that is capable of delivering a constant current of forty milliamps for a period of five hours. Calculate the total charge delivered uh, by the battery. So we've got uh, 40 milliamps, well we need to convert that into amps, so we'll have to divide this by a thousand, so we're going to get 0 0.04 amps. So Q equals IT, so we've got 0 0.04, and then how long did it last? So 5 hours, so 5 times by 60 times by 60, this is going to tell us the uh, total time in seconds. So 5 times 60 times 60 
is uh, 18,000. So we're going to times this by 18,000. So print 04 times by 18,000, we get 720. And then the unit is coulombs. The figure below shows the circuit containing a battery of EMF 12 volts, two resistors, a light dependent resistor, an ammeter and a switch. The battery is negligible internal resistance. When the switch is open, show that the potential difference between the points X and Y is 7.2 volts. Okay, so firstly let's work out what the current is going through the circuit. Or we could use the potential divider equation. In fact, why don't, why don't we do that? Actually, 12 times by uh, 12 divided by brackets uh, 8 plus uh, 12. Okay, let's have a look. So 12 times by 12 divided by uh, 20 and we get 7.2. The charge battery has an EMF of 4.5 volts and is connected to a 48 ohm resistor. There's a potential difference across the resistor is found to be 4 volts. The current is constant during the 45 minutes that the battery discharges. Calculate the internal resistance of the battery. So we've got uh, the EMF is equal to I big R plus I little r. Now we're looking for the internal resistance. Now we know that this here is 4.5. This here is going to be 4. So therefore this is going to be 0 0.5. And if we had 48 ohms, so we know 4 equals I times 48. So 4 over 48 is going to equal our current. So 4 divided by 48 is uh, 0 0.083 recurring. Okay, so we've got our current. Now we're just going to apply it over here and work out what our uh, resistance is internally. So 0 0.5 is equal to uh, 0 0.083 recurring, recurring times by R. Divide both sides by the current. It's going to cancel there. So 0.5 divided by 0.08 we're going to answer of 6 6 ohms